Hi everyone, welcome to the special talk show of Tom TV. Tom TV meyang tabira puna pu ahan ma maktada Suraj Khongban tabam da taram na okche bagaloina na ikai khomna ba ucheri. Ngasi miyam gi da makta puduna lakcheri. Lamdam sigi mapari Mr. Songasim Rongsung. Hi riba ikoi gi Songasim Rongsung na mamang gi tha da pangtho khiba April gi tang manga da gi na map Nepal fauba Goa da pangtho khiba Rubaru Mr. India 2021 da mai pakduna. Ekhoi Manipur ki mai pura pupi rakha ba adhu gumla ba ekhoi ki Mr. Songasim Rongsung ni. Miyam ki dumta lai zare Mr. Songasim Rongsung. Rongsung, please welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So ahan basidi Songasim, we would like to hear your brief introductions so that we can get to know more details about you. All right. So my name is Songasim Rongsung. I am from Okrul and from a small village called Dalui village. And I finished my master's in social work in St. Joseph College, uh, Bangalore. And recent, right now I am a freelance model and a fitness trainer. Okay, yeah. that's really nice. And then we, before we start, we would like to give the heartiest congratulations from the entire team of Tom TV. Thank you so much. And it's a great uh, pleasure to have you on our you know, special talk show. It's really so, nice. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, this is something very special and something very delicate, which I should say. Mm. Uh, being, you know, uh, a small state over mm -hmm. here, we, which we don't have uh, the more uh, facilities and infrastructures. Correct, correct. So, how have you come uh, to this uh, fashion industries and then you got a title also, uh, you know, all of a sudden it's a kind of, you know, a uh, kind of, you know, a... Uh, uh, very excited and very important for us also that which we don't actually realize till okay. now also yeah, yeah. because in the fashion industries we normally like we can focus on our traditions and all but with mm -hmm. this glamorous type of you know mm -hmm. pageantries mm -hmm. so far like you have set the records for us mm -hmm. so how have you experienced and then how have you opted into this uh, pageant well i always dream big in life in the beginning uh, 2019 i participated in mecca mr northeast Okay. And I was one of the top 10 finalists mm -hmm. and I wanted to do more. Okay. You know, for me that is not enough. I wanted to do more. So, uh, I look forward to, you know, participate in national competition. But there are some, you know, which I have registered, but sounds like those are not so proper for me. Mm -hmm. And lastly, I like came to know about Ruburu Mr. India through a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And I decided to give an interview for this, for a selection round. And luckily, I would say, with God's help, I was selected. And uh, there are not much people who were being selected, uh, you know, that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of them are state level winners. Mm -hmm. And I am one of the uh, competitors who had uh, entered through interview. Okay. Yeah. So this is your first uh, national level pageantry. This is my first national so level. So how was the process like and then what are the challenges you face into this uh, national uh, pageantry? This is a very complicated, complicated competition and uh, being in the national level competition, it's not at all easy. Mm -hmm. uh, since from the beginning, there has been a lot of things happening like we are given a lot of assignments, we are given a lot of tasks where we have to finish it on time, we are given group task also where we have to work together in team uh, with team and then we have to finish it on time which is very important being on time is one of the most important thing when it comes to this pageant i, I think not only this pageant in all kind of pageant, punctuality, punctuality counts a lot, counts a lot to, to your and, uh, yeah. professions and the uh, performances correct and uh, one more thing is your personality personality and your communication skills which is very important when it comes to this competition and well your looks and body comes later it's not that it's not important but if, if you are good with your personality and your communication skill that is one of the most important part where people will uh, the group will judge on yes you. so that you can carry more confidence Correctly. on that the Correctly. body and the looks that can be shaped with certain you know exactly uh, the inputs otherwise Correct. the personality and the communication you have rightly said that this is very important the communication and the personalities where you can carry more confident on that so what uh, songasim has rightly said that you know the confident and the personality is the key factor to crack any of the performances so that we can have 
certain settings on that. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. And uh, on this uh, particular pageantry, Rubaru, Mr. India, you have got a title, Mr. India 2021, United Continents. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then apart from that, you also uh, being uh, blessed and honored with the best national costume. Correct. Which is a great pride of the nation. Yes. Because, yes. you know, like uh, everyone, all the... Uh, uh, religion, all the culture, all the communities has got different, you know, Correct. unique uh, traditions and yes. the costumes. So yeah. you have uh, proved that our Manipur, that uh, costume has been, mm -hmm. you know, proven that the best for the costume. Yes. So how you feel from that? Well, I I'm so I feel so proud right now because our Nash, our our traditional attire need, is not being recognized by only Manipur, only Northeastern states, mm -hmm. but it's been known by the whole world. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that, you know, I won the best national costume because it's a good thing for our, our own state itself. Yes. And I would like to thank my team who has helped me with uh, making the videos and taking pictures, for, particularly for this, uh, this uh, pageantry. And also with uh, this Traditional attire was sponsored by my village youth club mm -hmm. and I would like to thank them also. Okay. It's all because of them yes. and we all working together as a team. Mm -hmm. I, would, uh, I was able to get the title. Yeah, congratulations yeah. to your team as well. Thank you. And uh, we, we got to know that uh, Rubaru, Mr. India, United Continents as you have been honored with this the yes. title. Yes. So what are the titles they have honored with certain uh, contestants? Yeah, so they are United Continents and Asia Pacific, okay. Global, and uh, there are a total of seven, eight. Eight. And Mr. Tim. Eight winners. Yeah, eight winners. So uh, we have like different, different titles for international and whoever won the international are all the winners. Okay. The winners, yeah. they will represent India Correct. in certain uh, uh, competitions yes, again. Yes. So uh, for you, United Continents, you have to do the preparations yes, on this. Yes. Uh, what are the expectations like uh, how you are going to prepare on this? Well, uh, just because this is again more bigger, this will go Correct. internationally. Correct. Where you know we will not talk about our native hometown, mm -hmm. we will mm -hmm. talk about India, India no. in large. Correct. So you know, like, what are the, what are you trying to, you know, focus more on this to get the winners again back to the India? Yeah. So this is a very big competition, and you know, I'm getting nervous for, uh, like, from now onwards. And one thing is that. Um, I have a dislocated shoulder, shoulder on the left side okay. uh, since I met with an accident before one week of uh, Rubaru Mr. India. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, I have to recover my shoulder first. Okay. Till then, I will be pre preparing mentally. Okay. I will be preparing uh, like whatever necessary, uh, whatever is necessary to prepare for like for my personality or mentally. I will be I will be preparing for that, and maybe after two months, I will start with my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is going to be my... Okay, uh, all the very best and then get well soon with all your, uh, you know, thank you so the much. elements and, uh, you know, like you should work on that also mm -hmm. so that you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, prepare better. Yeah, and uh, see, this is uh, uh, something which I should say like very, very special for our uh, people mm -hmm. because uh, being in a small state, we don't get to, you know, uh, get such type of very special excitement for us. Mm -hmm. So which you have proven that we can, you know, Correct. we can lead the country, we Correct. can uh, lead the society. Mm -hmm. So that means like uh, it shows that we also have the potentialities. Correct. So what is your point of view on the people of our uh, uh, Manipur, our state? All right, the, our state is very hardworking. I would say it's very hardworking, but uh, like just to give a small example, when it comes to uh, like there were this time where we were given time for votings, there were like more than two three months mm -hmm. we are given time for votings, and uh, there is a little bit of uh, may, maybe it's because of the commu uh, co lack of communication, okay. or it can be just people you know ignoring it. Mm -hmm. So I think we need a lot more support from our state mm -hmm. because yes, uh, I got a lot of response in the voting uh, itself, but just like you know if the whole state could support mm -hmm. then I would be one of the winner for the uh, voting itself mm -hmm. so like I think uh, yes a lot of people are supporting uh, supportive indeed but you know I, I should say maximum are still not aware of not what aware passion yet. three is yeah so um, what, what, what do you feel like how will you popularize that how will you initiate towards our society I think now a lot of people have come to know about it mm -hmm. since 
this is a hype topic right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, I'm not being proud of this, mm -hmm. proud of this, but I came back with a title and uh, mm -hmm. I think in Manipur, a lot of people are talking about this. It, it, it is like a talk of the state for now. Mm -hmm. So I think for now, people, are, people have come to know about it, a little bit about it. But then I would like to, you know, thank the social media, first of all, mm -hmm. because of you all, you know, we are being uh, known, I okay. should say. And uh, social media plays a very important, important sure. role in, sure. uh, in, you know, uh, educating the people. Yes. So I think social media will, uh, is one of the main thing to, you know, uh, spread the news. And moreover, it can be, you know, we uh, going around and... Uh, Doing campaign, get, doing and, campaign all. and yeah, rather like doing that, that better Correct. we spread message yeah. through social media. Actually, social media is one of yeah, the yeah. This is the fastest and yeah. easiest way uh, to reach exactly. each and every uh, and, people. Yeah. Nowadays, everyone's using a phone. True. Everyone's in Facebook. Everyone's yes. in Instagram. Then yeah, they would know about it. So it just you know, social media is the best best way of uh, improving. Yes, yes. So like after you have uh, won the title for Mister India Rubaru. So what uh, would you suggest for those aspirants, the young generations, which they want to uh, go up higher, mm -hmm. like national, international level? So what would be your best advice to them, well, especially uh, to our uh, own mm -hmm. people? Yes, I would say a lot of people are good. A lot of people in Manipur are poten have potential to you know, go higher. But there is this thing where you know, we should uh, you know, keep in mind I should say I have a lot of Northeastern friends in Bangalore, but you know a lot of them are I would say like a little bit timid. Okay. I'm not you know uh, judging them, mm -hmm. but a lot of them are a little bit timid, as in uh, they are not ready to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. They are in groups. Okay. Suppose for example, they are they are some, a lot of friends of mine from my own community. I would give an example. Mm -hmm. You know. They don't mingle much with the people outside. Mm -hmm. This is one of the uh, disadvantage, I would say. If you mingle with a lot of people outside, mm -hmm. uh, if you mingle with people from Bangalore or from wherever you are, then I think your communication skills will also increase. Your personality will increase. Yeah, like so. I think uh, I would suggest the youngsters out there to you know at least if you are living outside Manipur, then try to mingle with everyone. Be it, you know, be it from north, be it from south. Yeah, and uh, just to, you know, give a little bit more suggestion as in if you want to become someone great in life, mm -hmm. then I think uh, the only thing you have to do is work hard. Okay. You have a dream, then focus on that. Mm -hmm. If that, be it batch entry or be it some other uh, part competition, just focus. Focusing on that particular thing and working really hard for that is very important. I think a lot of uh, youngsters, like, they are like, ah, yeah, mm -hmm. some of them, they do that. They are actually not serious. Yeah, yeah, they are not serious. So I think, you know, people need to be serious if you want to win. Yeah, so uh, this is some true, of the True, true, because, position. you know, you have rightly said that the winners, like, if you want to become a winner, then you have to focus. You should show your hard work, Correct. focus, and so that you can also you know, uh, uh, dream for it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, like dreaming and not focusing and not doing anything Correct. and take it very casual mm -hmm. so that will not become the winner. Yes. So, winners, as per you, like we can account that, you know, like hard work, your, uh, uh, you know, having the focus and mm -hmm. the uh, uh, vision. Mm -hmm. With that only we can get the true. winners. Correct. Yeah, exactly. That is true. And then, as you have mentioned that like our people, like we are a little timid. Yeah. Why is it so? I don't know, I'm not sure why exactly this is happening, but I'm not talking about everyone actually, but uh, there are a lot of people whom I have you know, witnessed with my eyes. There are a lot of friends who, whom I have witness, witnessed with my eyes. Maybe it can be because of uh, our products, where, uh, and then moreover, there are a lot of discrimination happening around, uh, be it in North, be it in South. So maybe they can be scared of mm -hmm. you know, people around, they can be one of the reasons yes. or maybe they, they don't like to talk to them because mm -hmm. you know people judge them very easy that judge us very easily because even yeah, me we have a different feature. exactly we have a different feature even me i got uh, discriminated by so many people out there mm -hmm. i was uh, i was named like chinese chinkies but you know whatever it is 
uh, I think we have to stay focused. We have to move on. No matter what, no matter what, let the positive, let the negative be away yes. and be positive. Just move on. Whatever they say, I think you should not care much about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think, th yeah, this is, these are some of the reasons why, you know, uh, people can be a little bit timid, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Because like all the challenges, you have to take it so mm -hmm. that like uh, nothing will harm you. All Correct. the negatives will go in when and then you should be more positive and focus yeah. on that only. Yeah. Yeah. So with your duties, responsibilities, you should be hardworking. True. Yeah, that's exactly, you know, what uh, we have to be, you know, for the uh, uh, best survival. Correct. So uh, when the, you have started preparing uh, your this uh, pageant, so you were in Bangalore only. Yes, I was Apart in Bangalore. Apart from Bangalore, uh, what other areas, what other states you have been uh, explore? Uh, I have been to almost all the, all the southern part of India, mm -hmm. Kerala, and uh, Goa, and uh, Kanyakumari, okay. and Pondicherry, mm -hmm. Chennai. I've been to almost all the southern part okay. of India. Yeah. And regarding your education, have you done all your uh, uh, schooling, college there in Bangalore? Uh, no, I finished my 12th in uh, Manipur, in okay. Ukru. And then I came, I went to Bangalore for a degree and I finished master's in Bangalore itself. Okay, yeah. so you were there since college? Yes, since college. Okay, so how, how, how is your, uh, you know, experience in Bangalore? Well, in the beginning, I, I, I faced a lot of problems. I was thin, I was very thin. Okay. When I, the, the first time I came to Bangalore and I was being laughed by people, I was being bullied by people. Okay. And uh, there were times where the locals in Bangalore, you know, try to, uh, you know, uh, beat me up because I was small and they wanted money. So they, there was this very particular incident where uh, four or five of, of them, yeah, it's a discrimination. Four or five of them came like uh, surrounded me and they asked for money. If I don't give them money, then they'll bash me up. That okay. is what they say. So this is, this is one of the reason, not, not the full reason, but one of the reason why I started working out. Mm -hmm. and I wanted to show them that I can also do something in life. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, as you have mentioned that you have done your master's in social work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you must be having some motto also. Correct. And plus like you have exposed in the, uh, you know, peasantry and then Correct. you got the title also. So, yes. that means that like you are the ambassador for society. Mm -hmm. So, what will be your role in future? What will be your, you know, message or what, what will be your responsibilities mm -hmm. for the society? This is one of my favorite questions. Okay. Everywhere I go, this is like, I would say this is my favorite question because, okay. well, the reason why I do mass, uh, social work is that, you know, um, two of my brothers who died, one, of, one died because of alcoholism and one died because of uh, drug addiction. Okay. And uh, my parents have been crying each and every night uh, without sleeping properly okay. because of You'll my brothers. A lot. Yes, yeah. So I felt like, you know, uh, this is, these are some of the issue that problems that people in Manipur are facing and I think I should work on this particular topic and this topic is very sensitive and very close to me and my family so I wanted to work on this particular topic that's why I took up the subject social work okay. and after that I wanted to do more bigger with just social work it's difficult for me to work more so I wanted to be an inspiration be a role model for someone that's why I participated Rubaru Mr. India. Okay. And now I got the title of United Con uh, Rubaru Mr. India, United Continent. Mm -hmm. And I would like to work with the youth with substance abuse in our own state. And I have talked to uh, Chief Minister of Manipur and uh, he has been very nice to me and uh, he is look I am looking forward to work with him also in the yes, future. Yes, exactly because yeah. you know the government also has initiated uh, war yeah. against drugs. Correct. It's war everywhere they're spreading message. They have initiated uh, in a world uh, in the society. Mm -hmm. So you know uh, with that only with that theme and the motto you can also carry with you and then you can do better yes. so that you can be the inspirations towards yes. all the youngsters yes. where many of the youths with you know uh, high potentialities they have been you know spoiled in yes, between which yes. we cannot uh, have the futures with yes. them so this is how the uh, very you know uh, sen uh, kind of serious uh, matter yes. which we have it's to a talk very on serious that matter right yeah now, right? you should work on that definitely and work and you know like uh, what what is your uh, opinion on the war on drugs which has been initiated by i the think this is a very India. good initiative that the uh, government has taken up and uh, it would be really nice if you can if they can give me some part out here so mm -hmm. that you know I can be a very influential person for the youngsters out there 
And uh, as, as I've told you, it's a very close topic to me, a very sensitive mm -hmm. topic to me. Mm -hmm. It's related to my family. I don't want anyone's mom out there to cry again mm -hmm. without proper sleep in their gold bed. Yeah, I don't want any moms and in, any father to cry mm -hmm. because of this particular issue. It's a kind of disease which yes. we should work and eradicate that Correct. from the society. Yeah, True. exactly. We should do it. So uh, as you have mentioned, your mom was uh, struggling hard you yes. know, during your brother's time and also. Mm -hmm. Can we, uh, can you please highlight a little bit about, you know, in details for about your uh, families? So I have a total of five siblings. Okay. I'm the youngest one. Mm -hmm. I, ha I have all four elder brothers and the eldest one is the one who uh, passed away with alcoholism mm -hmm. and the one next to me is, uh, passed away because of uh, uh, drug ab uh, substance abuse okay. and my my father is a government employee and my mom is a homemaker okay so yeah. you don't have a sister i don't have sister okay so we what do you feel like you don't have a sister in the family well i'm i'm happy that you know uh, my eldest brother got married uh, like few years back and uh, we are blessed with a daughter, okay. with his daughter, and uh, I'm happy that, you know, she, I consider her as my own sister, mm -hmm. and uh, I will definitely look after her as my own sister. So I'm happy that, you know, uh, we have a sister now. Okay. I don't consider her as my daughter, but I consider her, her as my own sister. Okay. So yeah. what is your point of view on the, you know, uh, uh, gender discrimination or, you know, sex determinations? which we are, you know, talking about. What would be your, uh, you know, a basic point of view on that? Gender discrimination as in, uh, in which particular topic? Gender discrimination is like, you know, in certain societies where, you know, the female cannot move out during the night time, mm -hmm. female cannot attend this, yeah, guys correct. cannot enter this, certain correct, restrictions correct. with traditions and cultures. True, true, so true. what is your point of view on so, that? So, see, the, the thing is that, yes, I'm also a social worker. I have finished my master's and I learned, I have learned a lot of things, but it is very difficult to apply this directly to the community who is very sensitive. Let's say uh, uh, some of the community, they don't, they don't really allow their uh, daughters to, you know, go out and, you know, we can't just poke, uh, poke our nose everywhere, yes. right? But somehow we can, you know, work on it. But I would say uh, we are all equal. Uh, equality should be there. Mm -hmm. And uh, to, I think this topic is a very uh, challenging topic and yes. uh, I would like to talk about this about this later because mm -hmm. this this is a very sensitive and challenging topic and true, true. some parents will find it offensive mm -hmm. if I say you know oh uh, the, you should not do this or you should not do that but I would say I support no, no, this is the opinions only which we wanted to you know uh -huh. ask you this is according to you only which uh -huh. we are asking Correct. and uh, we also like uh, even in Manipur itself yep. where we have certain you know restrictions with the culture Correct. and the traditions Correct. also Correct. So what would be your best message to add on, you know, to uh, 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 enlighten them through, you know, this uh, media? Well, uh, I would say we are all equal, both boys and girls, no matter what. And uh, I think uh, a lot of boys are being, you know, I would say because of the, uh, the, their product, they are being very dominant. So I think this, this sh they should be educated as well because the uh, girl, I know there are a lot of girls coming up and fighting against this. But girls al alone, I know they can fight alone, but we, they also need support from, our, our, uh, from, the, bo from the boys itself, right? Mm -hmm. So I think uh, we need to go hand in hand when it comes to this part. Exactly, topic. yeah. We yeah. all are human beings after all. Yeah. We should work together correct. so that like, it's an example of light, uh, you know, both hands left yeah, and right. Correct, correct. So what according to is education? Education is not what you, you know, study in school or in colleges. Yes, it is also a part of education. But I would say education is more of, you know, what you learn from your surrounding, what you learn from your life, yeah, and what you learn from what you have gone through in life. I would say this is education. And moreover, uh, you know, people, our parents, I would say, our, yes. a lot of our parents think that, you know, being educated means being, you know, having PhD or uh, like uh, become an IS officer because of like studying. I think that is not only education. Education includes, it's a, it's a very vast topic and it includes everything. Suppose I want to become a, someone big. I want to become a person uh, like uh, I, I'm interested in pageantry. 
which means I need to be educated on this particular field, not on something else, right? Mm -hmm. So when it comes to particular field, you need to educate, you need to be educated differently, not, in, not only in studies. So I would say depends on the field, whichever field you are interested, you are you should be educated Edu you should be educated on the uh, yeah. particular area or yeah. the fields you should be aware and you should have the knowledge True. yeah thank you so much thank you and so we'll much. take a uh, short commercial break sure Panthoi B Construction Private Limited developing tomorrow presence Panthoi B Green Homes a destination of luxury living equipped with modern amenities Launching on 23rd of April 2021. Pre register starts from 1st of March to get special discount. Panthoibi Green Homes. For more details, kindly contact Panthoibi Construction Private Limited or report to Rangbam Lakai Imphal. Welcome back after the break. Mayamu Amukahana Nasigi special talk show. Mr. Rubaru, Mr. India 2021 United Continents winner. Amadi best national costume lobby rakpa akhoi guest mr songasim rungsung unabagi break ki matunga mayam bo amuka hanata ram okchari excitement of our viewers please say something in manipuri about your introduction again. i think uh, this this is going to be a very enter entertaining entertaining session. yes <laughs> yeah we because, should do it yeah well i i am not so like i would say i i don't know much uh, manipuri but mm -hmm. i can somehow try Yes. Yeah. Kerum zare a gaming song is Shimrung Sunkawi, a Kruel Dagini, Talui Village ta. Ajna a Masters in Social Work, Saint Joseph College, Bangalore ta loishali. Hoje hoje ga a freelance model o ina lady. Okay. Thank you so much. Ado mani prina muka hang ke ekhu ki Rung Sun ki family da papa ga mama ga ki baba ga mama ga ki ming dusu. Mtang hire mo adu ka siblings ing dui ming dusu hire pan. Oh, ekhi baba ki ming na Abraham Rung Sun. Aki mama ki ming na Hormila Rungsung, aduna aki eldest brother, ma ki ming Womung Rungsung kawi, ma hajikti laytri, aduna second second eldest brother na Thotrin Rungsung, matang da Ningrepam Rungsung, aduna Yushon Gam Rungsung, ma shu drug addiction ki laykitre, laykitre, unfortunately, aduga last da nang. Last day. I do like uh, uh, what is your favorite, you know, uh, uh, challenges or uh, favorite hobbies? Favorite hobbies. See, uh, I started to, you know, get into fitness, and I felt like, you know, my hobby was going to the gym. Okay. That makes me complete. So even though if I'm angry, I go straight to the gym. Mm -hmm. If I'm sad. I go straight to the gym. Okay. If I'm depressed, if I go straight to the gym. If I'm danced, I go straight to the gym, and it helps me reduce my problems. So okay. I, I I consider myself. Gym is your gym favorite is uh, hobbies, my, and yeah. as well, you know, uh, favorite challenges, challenges also. Because yeah. challenges, when you talk about uh, challenges, people uh, take uh, lots of negatives on that also. Correct, correct. This is actually not the uh, real challenges correct. which we have to face. True. So, like, uh, how how did you tackle those negative challenges which you came across? Well. I get a lot of negative, uh, negative challenges. People talking ill about me. People. Mm -hmm. I used to be very sensitive. Mm -hmm. I used to, you know, feel bad about what they have talked to me. But <coughs> slowly, I came came to learn that, you know, uh, neg people talking about us, people like having negative thought about us. Uh, I think they are our biggest fan. They mm -hmm. are the reason why we are growing, yes. isn't it? So I consider them as our biggest friend, fan, and. Uh, I am trying my best to be positive in life mm -hmm. and stay away from the negative. So that, mm -hmm. that is how I live. Yeah. yeah, especially the negativities, like it adds the flavors of the positivities exactly, yeah. so that it, it's more colorful. Correct, correct. Right? Yeah. And it so, puts the flame. Yes, Yeah. exactly. So this is how we have to experience the life. Exactly. So what according to is a life being a human being? Well, this is a very complicate, complicated question. So. Life is filled with ups and downs. Okay. And uh, you know, being positive is the only key, key to success. Success. Yeah, I would say. Yeah. And uh, what according to is a beauty now? Beauty is not only about you having a good look, good feature, good body. It's about you having a good heart. Yeah, exactly. 
that's what uh, people want that also and even the peasantries also many people they have the wrong concept that correct. pretty and the handsome should be mm -hmm. the winners and correct, all. Correct. so what would what would be your uh, you know the uh, 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 the message towards all the aspirants how to build their you know career in the uh, peasantry well uh, i would say i totally appreciate rubaru uh, rubaru group for this particular topic because they have set an example to our nation that beauty be it your, uh, be your be it your looks be it your body is not the only only thing thing that completes a person there there is this uh, person called kulfam kulfam and okay. kulfam who is one of our finalists and um, he is with a wheelchair and he is also one of our finalists and he he won the brand ambassador of Rupuru Mr. India. Okay. And I would nice. say now uh, Rupuru group has set an example that beauty doesn't only mean looks and physics or body. It yes. also means your heart and how beautiful you are clean inside. And how clear. clean and clear you are The inside. clean and clear picture is the beauty. Correct. Yeah, exactly. That is what the meaning carry for that. Sure. Yeah, sure. and uh, uh, see, uh, we talk lots about the fashion shows uh, mm -hmm. for the model mm -hmm. and pageantries for the you know kind of uh, model as well. Mm -hmm. So, what is uh, the differentiation between the model and the uh, model in the fashion show and the model in the pageantries? All right, so mo I know model in the fashion show they have the capability, they have the potential to talk or to have a good uh, personality, things like that. But yes, I would say. If you are a model, you are. I would say I would define you as. A, I would define model as a hanger. Okay. You are hanging someone's clothes. Mm -hmm. You being as a hanger, you like what kind of kind of hanger you are. You know. Uh, I would say you know. A kind of mannequin. A, yeah, a kind of mannequin. You are you are a mannequin when it comes to model. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to pattern, you are a complete package. So you. It's, it's, it's a complete package as in, you know, you have a lot of uh, competition, uh, be it your personality, be it your looks, be it your way of walking, be it your uh, everything. Yes. I would say it's a complete package when it comes to passion three. Okay. And uh, model, I would define as a hanger. Okay. So you, you showcase someone's uh, attire, I would say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, exactly. Because uh, in the fashion parrot, like where you don't have to screen certain have to, uh, yeah. areas. Correct. So you have rightly said the beauty pageant is a complete package, mm -hmm. which you have to check all everything. So they will decide with that only True. the complete, you know, yeah. man or a complete woman. Yeah, that doesn't mean that, you know, models doesn't have the capability to talk. But still, it's a different feel. Yes. Even the one who is into pageantry can be a model. They are also a model. But yes. then it can be a different feel again. In the if they are not hard work also, exactly. if they can carry on with all the uh, kind of, yeah, you know, if they uh, are, if they have, correct. If we are, they have like very good attitude on stage, on, on ramp, mm -hmm. which means they can be a model. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, in future, what is your plan? Any, any plan to set up certain kind of, you know, a platform for the model and for the uh, patient and all? Yeah. So this is one of my aim. I would like to start up with my own uh, fashion industry, which I have not mentioned to many people. But then I would like to talk more about it when it is successful, but I will tell a little bit about it. Well, uh, there are a lot of uh, agencies in, uh, in Manipur itself, mm -hmm. but yes, uh, it needs a lot more recognition. Mm -hmm. So what I'm planning is I'm planning to uh, communicate with all the states in India, mm -hmm. uh, the big states like Delhi, can be Bangalore, Mumbai, and collaborate and connect to all the big, big states and you know, send models from our own state to this big, big uh, uh, So that our model agencies. can be yeah, promoted? So that our model can be promoted. This way, I want to promote our own, uh, our own people. So that you can yeah. also have be connected with the correct, national uh, pageantries yeah. as well. Be it pageantry or be it like <coughs> a fashion <coughs> it can be bought. So I wanted to do something related to this. Okay, yeah. how about the pageantries? Pageantries as in? Uh, 
because like uh, Drawback many peasantries. lots uh, national peasantries are there where our youngsters like they wanted to uh, uh, you know get the platform on true, that true. so how you can as a leader as a winner as you have proven the uh, you know the title with uh, you know the recognition towards the society <coughs> so you can initiate in a in a easiest way yes because you so, have explored have, you have already been yeah. experienced as well correct correct so since i'm already one of the winner it is easier for me to connect now yes it is easier for me to talk to the the group that you know we we people from northeast or manipur have the potential so i will groom people out here i will provide people for you to participate in the pageant so i will definitely do my best to uh, promote our own northeastern state okay so yeah this is one of my aim i i think i have talked to some of my friends uh, which is going to be confidential for now because it is okay. not accepted no problem yeah so i I, this particular topic, I have talked about it, okay. and I would like to, you know, uh, bring up northeastern people to a higher level. Okay. Yeah. So, what you have experienced, what you have seen, the differences uh, between our uh, northeast uh, contestant and the, uh, you know, the metro's uh, contestants. Well, there is no much differences. Everyone is good. Everyone has the potential. But then, when it comes to our northeastern states, yes, we have lack of heights. Okay. We have lack of heights. Mm -hmm. Even me, I'm not compared to them. I'm very short. Okay. I'm very short. So we have lack of heights. I don't know it's, whether it's because of our gene or I'm not sure Could exactly be. about that. Could be. Yeah, but then uh, I don't think that will be a problem now. Okay. There shouldn't be a problem. Yes, so I'm. I'm short, but mm -hmm. now I'm one of the winner, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't think that is a problem for you to be a winner because everyone has the apprehension that you know like uh, should i go on this and certain you know in the uh feminine miss india yeah. which was very popular yeah that point of time even our miss manipur and mm -hmm. all where they wanted to try and then mm -hmm. they have certain you know uh, uh yes issues with the height and yes. all yes. so that means like you have proven the at least if you uh, uh achieve the uh, criteria mm -hmm. then you can fulfill Correct. and you have also proven that also yeah. yeah thank you so much for thank your you time so and we really appreciate all your efforts thank you so and much. from tom tv we wish you all the very best and hearty congratulations once again thank and you and this is a small token of appreciation okay. from our side <laughs> thank, thank you, you so much it means a lot to me thanks a lot thank you Akuyi Nasigi Miam Gi Namata Kwana Nasi Tamzakribasi, Mr. Songasim Rungsung, Rungsung Si Akwagi Ukrulda Gini, Magna Miam Gi Damakta, Mai Pubira Kibasi, Akwagi National Level Da Ruba Runasinba, Mr. India twenty twenty one da United Continents Ki Damakta Mana winner Oiraga Akwagi India represent the Udoi di Amadi. Siga Luna Lunana Akwagi National Costume Awards Mana Pangbir A Habi the Akwagi Costume Asisu. Mayamgi Marakta unique oiba yamna appreciate the oraba akhoigi recognize oiraba national level the oiraba costume mani haina rungsungna akhoigi lebak miyam da takpi lambe da mukta rungsungbo hana na thaga chari amadi tom tv gi special talk show yengbiro pumnampu once again i thank you very much